What's Happening Legends. I'm here with the great man Josh Philippi, Western Australia and Sydney Sixers wicketkeeper batsman and this is Skulls Weekly episode 5. I think it's all just trusting yourself. Prepare, practice and then trust yourself. But don't try and reinvent the wheel and, and back your instinct. Morning Legends. It is 9.20am Monday morning. I am here on the couch. I have a bit of Gary V on the TV, just been watching his vlog. I'm looking at YouTube and looking at some of the comments um, from last week's vlog. It is a public holiday here today, so I don't have the boys, Reedy and Sperry, coming in. Um, I'm on the couch, a little bit more comfortable than in the office, just trying to get through some comments. I've been replying to a bunch of Instagram uh, messages, um, trying to give value to our community there, and also learning from Gary V. So. Big week ahead this week, um, lots going on, lots of great things going on here at Cricket Mentoring. Let us know what you like, think of this new format, Skulls Weekly. This will be the fifth episode. Um, you see, uh, we've just published number three last week and getting some excellent feedback on it so far. So please let us know what you think. <laughs> Hey Legends, so I'm doing some editing here now, um, a video of Tom Lamanby, a professional cricketer from Somerset County Cricket Club in the UK. Going to try and get this video up this afternoon, it's going to be quite a big video, I'll probably put it into two parts. Um, and as I go through, I'm watching it, I'm trying to cut out the dead bits to try and make sure that our uh, audience gets the most value and doesn't just waste their time sitting there while he's not doing anything. Some people enjoy the whole uncut version, but most people I think enjoy it where we cut it so that when there's nothing happening in between balls, we cut that part. And then what I've just done is I've just found a bit that I think is really valuable. Um, I've copied and pasted that, created another project here in Final Cut Pro, and then that will become an Instagram post as well. So I'm snipping the whole video for YouTube and then I'm finding the most valuable bits and I'm gonna be sharing them on Instagram. So try and always think about um, who, how we can use each piece of content. So this will be a long form video, probably two, part A and part B or part one, part two on YouTube. And then I'll try and get two, three, maybe four little Instagram videos, maybe an IGTV video out of it, a few TikTok videos so we can create, use this content on multiple platforms for different um, audience, to what different people, everyone who goes to um, a certain platform is going there with a different mindset. If you're going to YouTube, you're going to learn something, you're going to uh, be entertained and you're going to spend a bit of time on there. If you're on Instagram, you might just be filling in some time um, so really trying to think about how we can use each piece of content to give the most value on each platform.
40 Wednesday morning. I'm just off to the gym. Wednesday morning session with the boys. Found it really tough to get up this morning. My alarm went off at 6 a.m. and I was mid-dream. Um, obviously, we are all, I'm sure, aware that we have sort of deep sleep and light sleep. I feel like I was in a deep sleep. Um, I went to bed at 10.15, so hopefully I'd be asleep by 10.30, wake up at six, seven and a half hours. It should, according to the sleep cycles, mean I'm in a light sleep, but couldn't fall asleep straight away. These things happen. So yeah, I woke up this morning tired, hard to get out of bed, but I just knew I had to get up. It's good to be accountable. Um, obviously, I'm going to meet the boys. I've already paid for the session, so I don't want to miss it. So being accountable is huge for your productivity um, and also for getting it done and fitness and stuff like that. So if, you, if you're struggling to find a way to do it, then make yourself accountable. Pay for sessions up front. Um, Organise to do it with someone else. In the past, when I've done that, I've also not gone, but then we put something on it, we put some lunch on it, and whoever didn't show up had to buy lunch and no one missed any sessions. So being accountable is huge in getting it done. Yeah, really getting your weight into the ball. You look still at release, then you're transferring your weight to wherever the ball is really nicely. Batting. Yeah, you transferred your weight back fine. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, because you're, you're both feet on the ground, you balance your head still. I think it was, yeah, really good. It's like a square drive, but sort of like... Sort of in between a square drive and a cart, and I think you played it well. Head was still, yeah. balance good. 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 Well played. Okay, four through the leg side. Nice. Tight gnomes. When your head and weight is right through the ball, that's when you get power. Sometimes it's just coming off either to the offside or your bottom arm brings it to leg side. You lose energy, you leak energy in different directions, so you can't get as much power in a straight line. When everything goes in a straight line, you get power. Shot. Batting. I want to single this ball. I've got a point, I've got a point. Extra cover, mid offs on the ring, mid ons on the ring. And a mid-wicket, and then gaps, square mid-wicket. Well done. Well done. Just opened up your back hip, so he sliced it. Shot, Gnomes. Shot. How'd that feel? That was a lovely shot through mid-wicket. Best one you've hit through mid-wicket. It will help with the straighter balls, that's for sure. Yeah, go. Shot. So this is sort of how you'd approach your, your 100 or your 2020, and it's just like the odd big shot mixed around with getting off strike regularly and then punches and clips and sort of a few hands through the ball quickly. And then you pick the bowler, pick the ball, pick your area, and you go back. Hey vlog, I'm in here at Muleman's. I just finished a session with Naomi Dutani, who is the captain of Middlesex and also playing for the London Spirit yep. in uh, the 100 that's coming up this year. Just finished a session, how did you find that? Yeah, it was really good. We've had a few sessions now and just been working on grooving my technique and getting my head towards the ball and uh, it's been really good to explore with you, like um, getting back into the crease and playing against the spinners trying to hit the point and cover region a little bit more so the last few sessions have been really good, confidence is up now I'm trying to hit through that area so it's been really beneficial so far. Awesome, she's sweating, it's hot down here, she's worked really hard um, and also trying to just sort of unlock the right mindset for her as well which is hugely important with all athletes. How have you found your time in Australia so far? Yeah it's been really good I think, it's been a really good decision to come out here, get some games under my belt, get out into the middle and um, it's been a really good feeder into my season back home so um, the biggest thing that I wanted to work on was the mindset in the game and practicing my mental routines and trying to get 
kind of just there's a consequence of getting out, so you can't practice that in a minute back in England. So absolutely not. It's been uh, it's been the perfect trip so far, um, and hopefully you can take that back home. Awesome. Well, guys, make sure you check her out on on social media. Um, she's going to be doing some great things, not only in her game, but she's also going to be um, amping up her coaching profile as well in London and the UK and we're hoping to have a little partnership there with her involved in that. So more to come on that, um, just check her out for now. And guys, if you're watching this, if you're in the UK or overseas, come and join us here at the Cricket Mentoring Academy in Perth. We can help you become your best as we are hopefully helping Naomi. So, great work, Naomi. Thank you very much. Thanks. vlog I've had a mare 7 30 I've finished my sessions for the day been a long day I'm tired I'm hungry and I've left my keys upstairs in the shop the Muleman's Cricket Centre shop I'm down here fortunately Justin Muleman's on his way to open up and hopefully I can grab my keys they I think they're up there and then I can head home but silly 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 a mistake um, good day though excellent sessions um, six sessions very different players different people but yeah really enjoy working with these people on a regular basis building relationships with them and helping understand them as people and understand their game so that i can maximize my sort of input and give the most value the more i know about them so been a good day morning legends five last ten just finished the session at the gym. I'm cooked. Here's Mrs. S. Come on. Finishing off. Oh, that was hard. There's our trainer. He did it with us. Hey vlog, back from a session at Muleman's with Wellesie, John Wells, um, big bash cricketer. S absolutely smacked them. Uh, sometimes sessions seem like they go on for ages. Um, sometimes sessions seem like they go really quickly. That went really quickly, throwing balls for 45 minutes. Um, but he absolutely smashed them. It was a pleasure to watch. So uh, always good fun working with really good players like that. Wellesie on the cusp of the Australian T20 team after his awesome big bash where he made the team of the tournament. So... Now, I have a really exciting afternoon ahead. Mrs. S and I are off to stay at a hotel for the evening. We've got a voucher from our wedding a few years ago that was going to expire, so we booked a hotel. We're going to have some nice, quiet time together with something we don't get very often with our little daughter. So, yeah, off for a quiet, relaxing afternoon. Hey, vlog. It is Friday morning, 9.15 a.m. I'm in the gym with Mrs. S at the Crown Towers in Perth where we stayed last night. It's awesome gym, no one else in here. We're about to work hard. Well, legend session done. Just over 45 minutes, about 50 minutes worth of work. Awesome to train with Mrs. S, the wife. Um, it's great to have a training partner. I was sort of training her a little bit, so good to motivate her, and it's her, she inspires me to work hard as well. So awesome facility here at the Crown Towers. Now time to have a quick swim, and then get home and do some work. Yeah. So we name the draft again and hope you get picked up. 
What about the North Blue Severus thing though? Yeah, right. I doubt we've got that. Yeah, far out. This coronavirus is awful. Yeah. So, what are you doing now then? You're just based in Perth? Um, yeah, so I flew back from Adelaide. Um, obviously, go to Nepal when I was going to go back to Adelaide because it would have been season done. So, I'm just going to stay here now. Yeah. Um, probably go up to Darwin at some stage. Yeah. So, yeah. pretty much staying here for a month, probably. Yeah. yeah. And then play a whole season in Darwin? No. Nah, I'll float in and out. Hopefully strike play league. Canada, yeah. Hopefully play Canada League, um, yeah. Strike League, yeah. and probably country as well. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And then how does it all work? Does your ma- agent or manager just try and get you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. Ah, uh, cool. Where, where are you based? Are you up north? Uh, I'm in Rangaroo, so uh, near Wanneroo Creek Club. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And are you doing much else during the day or just cricket? Just sort of just no, just cricket at the moment, really. Keep fit, yeah. Yeah. play cricket, train. Yeah, body's good? About, yeah, body's been all right. I had a side strain. I've been out for uh, probably three weeks from the month. I got come back last Saturday. Uh, last yeah, right. Just come back from that. Did you play last Saturday? Yeah, I played last Saturday. Yeah, right. Are you playing tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Yeah, right. Um, but, but because of this? No, no. Yeah, right. Yeah, obviously someone's going to have to be set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. didn't really want to kick someone out. Yeah, you know, last yeah. round of year. So can you play finals for this one room? Oh, I don't know. Apparently I can. can qualify? Oh, I don't know what qualification is. I only play a few teams. Um, so yeah, well today I reckon we'll do Spurry's on his way. He's just going to try and get a, an attachment for the GoPro. Yeah. So I reckon we try and get two videos. One where we talk a bit about how you bowl fast. Yeah. Like, the mechanics are, I guess. And we haven't really, in our, on our channel, haven't really shared that much about fast bowling. And obviously you can bowl rockets, so it'd be cool to say how to bowl 150 k now. Do yeah. a video around that. Yeah. And then another video of you, probably not cranked up because it's hard decks, obviously, yeah. but bowling a decent enough gas at 15 year old Doki to have here a GoPro on his helmet. Yeah. Yeah? Sweet. Cool. Um, we'll just wait till Spurry gets here, but um, do you need to get warm or anything? Yeah, yeah. Hey vlog, just finished filming at Richardson Park with Aaron Summers. Awesome a little video. Um, it'll probably be already published by the time you see this vlog, um, but a couple of videos there. It was great for him to share some wisdom, share some knowledge around fast bowling. Something that we don't know much about, I don't know much about, something we don't share too much content on. One of the videos was of Aaron bowling um, to 15-year-old Doki Hugenbosom, who is here with me now. Hey, are you on, Dokes? Yeah, good. Doki, you will have, if you follow our channel, you'll have seen him a number of times before. He's one of our sort of gun young players. And it is very exciting to announce that he's playing his first grade, making his first grade debut tomorrow for Melville Career Club. So well done, Doki. Cheers. How are you feeling about it? <laughs> a bit nervous, to be honest. So guys, hopefully in 10 years when Doki's playing for Australia and playing at the highest level, we can look back on this video and say we were sitting in the car, we filmed a bit of content at Richardson Park before your first grade debut. So guys, the Cricket Mentoring Community, wish Doki all the best. By the time this video comes out, he will have played and you'll be able to see the results. We'll have a link to that scorecard in this video. Um, and then hopefully he does well and then he'll play finals for Melville opening the batting. So good luck, Dokes. Cheers. Like I said before, the key is to just not bring your bottom side, bottom hand in too early. Lovely shot, Rach. Shot. Yes. Try and let that come right in. Just, you're in control, but it's a little bit out in front. Yes, beautiful. Something just to be mindful of is not letting that right hand close too much. So the ball before, when you, you hit it, you sort of, just at contact, you sort of take your right hand like this, yeah. and that drags it squarer. Yeah. So when you're hitting it and when you're driving, just try and like keep your bottom hand open as much as you can. You can bring it in, but try not to take it that way. Yeah. All good, all good. Legends, it's Saturday morning and here we are for the wicket for the day. One day, uh, Redo. Wicket for the day. It's uh, quite soft underneath foot. But the groundsman's rolling now, so hopefully it hardens up a bit.
overcast. Bit of rain around this morning. Hopefully we don't get any more rain today though. Let's go.